Welcome to another 5-minute teaching tip episode. Today we're going to be talking about teaching literacy to students. Students that can read effectively are able to grasp important aspects of society, score well on tests, and are able to communicate. In our classroom, we have various types of learners. Visual learners that need visual aids like images, graphs, videos to learn. Auditory learners that learn best through listening and verbal communication. We have the kinesthetic tactile learners that learn through physical movement and hands-on activities. So when teaching reading literacy, it is important that we cater to the various types of learners. As good teachers, we must create or use materials that are supportive and inclusive of the learning environment. Before we get to the actual reading of the text, it is important that we build a foundation with our learners. This can be done through presentation vocabulary, through images such as flashcards, sound, and videos to activate the different types of learning styles in the classroom. Another powerful tool to pre-reading is gamification, which promotes engagement, motivation, and language learning. A simple web quest to activate their learning promotes critical thinking, enhances research skills, fosters collaboration, and if done in pairs or in teams. Integration of technology, but most important, it incorporates all types of learning styles. The second battle is that we must choose materials that are appropriate to the level of language. We're going to look at an A1 level. So text here have to be very simple with very basic language and in context to their everyday reality and obviously age appropriate and interesting. Cultural competence and sensitivity is an important skill we have to install in our students at a very young age so that they are prepared for the global world we live in today. So teaching cultural nuances helps students understand the subtleties of communication, leading to improved language comprehension. It is important that we provide our students with a wide range of texts like dialogues, articles, postcards, and text messages so that learners are aware of the various types of means where written communication can take place. Incorporating reading strategies to get the learners to actively engage and comprehend the material we are teaching. When can we do this with a video where the students are able to visualize the text, thus activating various types of learners? Here we are using context clues and visuals to help aid comprehension. This is what we call a while reading activity. We can then take it one step further and get the student to do a task. Here they have to watch the video and match the flags to the correct text. After the reading, we have a post-reading activity and we can bring this to their world, to what they are most familiar with. For example, what is special days in Portuguese? Critical thinking process can also be activated at this point. Reading comprehension skills are essential to understand the text. It is the ability for the student to understand the main idea, infer meaning, and be able to make connections, giving them transferable, real-life skills. At the same time, students are exposed to vocabulary, sentence structures, and language patterns. For this to be applied, it is important that there is scaffolding. This is where the teacher's role is very important. This is exactly like using scaffolds in constructing a building. The bottom scaffold must be very well structured in order to support the top scaffold. It is important that the reading comprehension tasks go from very easy to more complex. Skill activation is very important also. Here we are stimulating the learners to use specific language skills that they have acquired in the reading text and transfer them to a writing task, but in a meaningful way that brings it to their world. The focus here is developing their transfer skills. In this case, producing a common in text message. Thus, we have holistic learning. 
Well, that is a wrap for 5-Minute Teaching Tips. I do look forward to seeing you on our next session.